Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about rectangles. Basically, this will be a pretty short video. We're just going to talk about some properties of rectangles and maybe a little notation. And the next one, we'll actually do a little um, proof. Um, so let's take a look at this um, again. This this is eight five point two. Actually, I need to fix that. Eight five point two is properties of rectangles or just rectangles. Um, so what the deal is with a rectangle? Everybody knows about rectangles. Rectangles are everywhere you look, pretty much. Um, a rectangle is a parallelogram, right? But the only thing this, the, the, um, I guess what really nails it down is it has right angles. And I think everybody knows what a right angle is. A right angle is 90 degrees. It also means this line, AD, is perpendicular to DC. Um, and BC is perpendicular to AB. All right, so you know, and I kind of narrowed things down. So everything, every property of your parallelograms is also a property of a rectangle, right? Rectangles take on all those properties. Um, now, to prove something's a rectangle, okay, you can't just prove it's a parallelogram. That's not enough. You need to get inside one of these ideas here. So for our purposes, there's there are two additional important properties of rectangles to know, right? Um, for right angles and diagonals are congruent. In other words, the diagonal AC is equal to DB or BD is one way to prove it's a rectangle. Um, now, the other property of a parallelogram says they, they, um, they, they intersect and create, they bisect each other, but that doesn't mean they're congruent. So this is an additional piece right here to prove it's a rectangle. Now, I put this here, four right angles. Well, if you remember parallelograms, you only need to prove, all you have to do is show if there's one right angle, they're all right. Okay? So down here, to prove something, to prove these rectangles, um, you could take that route. Just prove one of them's a right angle. And uh, and the question could come at you like this to determine whether this is a rectangle. Well, then you could use one of these ideas to do so. Anyway, that's an a introduction to this rectangle. And in the next... Um, video will actually do a problem where we're going to prove uh, something as a rectangle.